Welcome to part two of the 8th City Morning Kemsley Light Railway podcast. In this part, we arrive at Kemsley Down and find out the latest news from the railway. Full steam ahead for reopening. More help needed for work weekends. Sitball Northern Relief Road opens. The railway is still on track for reopening on Good Friday the 6th of April. As you'll see in the next part, steam locomotives Media and Leader will be operational from the start of the season. Please visit our website and download this year's timetable, poster and card stickers and display them as appropriate. The January work weekends were very successful, with a good number of members attending both weekends. The second weekend saw work resume at Sittermore Viaduct Station and the first works train from there to Kemsley Down since January 2009, although the train didn't actually come into the station due to the track theft issues. Sittermore Viaduct Station is really coming along now. The staircase is being repaired, the footpath is over halfway there, and some of the platform has been pressure washed. A general tidy up is underway with a lot of rubbish being burnt. A large number of cider cans and other debris needs to be bagged up and removed from site too. A roundup of the work carried out at Kemsley Down will feature in the next part of the podcast. Outstanding work at Milton Regis Asda Hall includes the construction of a new platform on the Asda side of the track opposite the platform used by trains in 2010 and 11. The dates for the work weekends have been arranged and are fortnightly as follows. The 18th and 19th of February, 3rd and 4th of March, 17th and 18th of March, 31st of March and 1st of April. Due to the exposed nature of the sites at Sittermore Viaduct and Milton Regis as the Hall, the exact location of the work will be announced on the Wednesday before. Unfortunately, the weather has delivered snow, which makes getting to the railway fairly awkward, so make sure that you check the Facebook group page before you leave home. Sittermore Northern Relief Road fully opened in December and links the A249 Sheppey Way with the Eurolink Industrial Estate crossing both the railway and Milton Creek on its way. The bridge has really opened up new viewing opportunities as it is a great place to photograph trains. It will also expose the railway to the road users so we may get more interest and visitors from it. There will be a lot more on this during our journey back to Sittermore Viaduct. Sorry for the very short, late podcast. Things are moving along quite fast at the moment. I'm producing podcast parts 2, 3 and 4 in close succession in order to get back on track, so please bear with me.